Hi, ladies. Monday and I'm back to have another cup of coffee with you and talk about um, stuff, whatever may come up in my head. I have my coffee. Today's coffee mug is brought to you by St. Anthony's Hospital located in Oklahoma City where both of my children were born. Yay. I need a lot of coffee this morning. Um, I was up quite a bit last night. Like, you know, like where you wake up all night long, almost like on the hour, every, every hour. Um, it's like my brain, when I'm waiting for something to happen, if I'm if something's supposed to happen before I go to bed, um, and I'm waiting for that, it's like my brain won't allow me to fully sleep because I don't want to miss that. So every time I fall asleep, it's like, wake up! You have something you're supposed to be doing, you're waiting for somebody. Um, so, I was waiting for my reverend to call, but he didn't. So that happened. Um, this week was Halloween. Um, I had a great Halloween with my kiddos. I hope you guys had a great and safe Halloween. I hope you're all still here with me. I hope nothing serious happened to anybody because Halloween can be kind of crazy. It can be kind of crazy. Um, the freaks come out at night, especially on Halloween. And we had, but we had fun. We went. We took the kids. We took my kids and. Uh, my sister and my brother-in-law, we took um, my niece and nephew, their kids, and my mom. We went to a trunk or treat at a local church here, and the kids had a lot of fun. There were so many people, there were so many cars, um, and then there was two fire trucks, which was exciting. They had big blow-up bouncy houses, um, games, they just had all kinds of stuff. And it was really fun, the kids enjoyed it, but it was freezing cold. Um, I was taking pictures because you guys know how I am. I'm a picture junkie. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you'll see that. I post probably like, if I'm doing something, I'll post like 10 pictures from the event. I, I love photography, but I love capturing moments. That's my big thing with photography. I love capturing a moment that I don't want to lose. And if you take a picture of that memory, you get to have it visually, not just in your mind, but visually. And so it's important to me to have pictures. But, um, so I took a lot of pictures. And it was so cold, my hands weren't working. It was, they were so freezing cold that when I was trying to send pictures to like family members, like my cousin in California, I call her my wife. <laughs> I couldn't, it was like, all the words were misspelled. Just like, what are you talking about? I'm like, I have cold fingers. I'm sorry. But it was a good time. Um, and then at a certain point, it got too cold. The kids were freezing. They were starving. So, um, it was... What time is it? It was 7.30. So we took him to McDonald's um, to let him play and get happy meals. And I know McDonald's is not the best thing to eat. But um, I don't think it's going to kill him. So they played and Ben got to see a little girl from his school that he's absolutely in love with. Yeah. Already. See, in my household, um, you're not allowed to date until you're 16. And I followed that rule and actually even prolonged it another year. I didn't date or get my first boyfriend until I was 17. And I think that that was, that was a really good thing. I don't like this whole, oh, they're adorable and that's their boyfriend. And that I don't encourage that. I don't encourage that. Because they don't understand it. That's something we put into their heads mentally. A four-year-old doesn't understand. That's my girlfriend. That's my boyfriend. They just know, this is a girl and she's my friend and I think she's awesome. So I'm going to hang out with her. Well, good. Let's teach um, our youth that it is perfectly acceptable to have male friends and female friends without being involved with them. I'm, I'm, I'm okay with that. So that's what I'm going to teach my kids until they get to around 16. And I'm like, if you want to date her, I guess I'll allow it. But when you're a child, no. You know, I think kids and preteens they have enough on their plate already with trying to juggle school and their home life and emotions and trying to discover who they are that throwing in things like relationships that they don't really fully grasp anyways 
but I mean, we're all adults for the most part. And I know there's a lot of teenage girls and younger guys that follow me too. And this in, by no means is a slam against you guys that like you shouldn't date because you're too young. But I think that until you hit like the age of 16, Sometimes it can be really difficult mentally to juggle things like that and when a breakup happens or um, you know you have a relationship when you're really young it can be really difficult to manage and it can be difficult on your heart and on your mind so if you kind of wait until you reach a certain age um, you know your mind hits different maturity levels and that's not because you're slow or somebody else is smarter than you it's just the way we grow as human beings and we hit these milestones at certain ages and at 16 I think that it's a good age to start branching out in different directions in your life like relationships with other individuals of whatever sex um, but when you're so young when you're like 10 and 11 and 12 my mind just didn't work that way um, I didn't care about dating I just wanted to be myself and I wanted to go out and I wanted to play and I wanted to you know write in my diary and I wanted to look at clothes and I wanted to have fun with my cousins and I just wanted to be me without the thought of having to worry about somebody else and you know I had a crush on my big brother's best friend from the age of 10 until I was like 15 years old but I my brain never said let's date let's do things let's fool around let's make out my grandma didn't raise me that way I guess so and I, I say my grandma because my grandma was really the the focal point of drawing me um, keeping me on track in that kind of situation so I wasn't really focused on things like dating and boys I just wanted to be friends with them and I didn't see them on the level of oh he's so hot I just wanted to skateboard with them and my big brother like that's all I wanted I wasn't allowed though because they suck I was allowed to play video games with them but then I started um, winning they told me I was a cheater and I couldn't play anymore Thanks, bro. You suck. Um, and I haven't played video games since, so, but that might change. But yeah, I don't think that dating is necessarily something to focus on when you're really young. I think that there's so much out there, and trust me, I mean, relationships and dating are going to come knocking at your door no matter what. I mean, you guys know I'm a single mom now, and there's a lot of questions surfacing on that topic. And everybody wants to know what's going on. And I'll tell you eventually. I'm just not at liberty to say at this moment in time. But I will tell you guys later. But there's, you know, I get a lot of the dating. Like, let's go out on a date. No, I don't want to. Well, why are you talking to me then? Well, I mean, you're a human being. I like interaction, contact conversation I don't see why it always has to be taken to that level like <laughs> you know what I'm saying like it's always taken to that level so no matter what you're going to be faced with people wanting to date you and relationships and all that fun hullabaloo but I mean until you get to an age where it's kind of easier to handle emotionally I think as a young individual it's important to focus on finding yourself and you know keeping your life on track because in your youth it's it's important to have fun and experience things and sometimes throwing in things like dating at such a young age I think can kind of hinder that a little bit kind of slow it down kind of put um, roadblocks in you know places that they shouldn't especially if you know a lot of young girls and young guys get into unhealthy relationships where there could be abuse or controlling issues and at a young age it's hard enough to handle as an adult but as a young teenager I can only imagine how much more difficult that can be um so this is just my thoughts on the subject I know a lot of you probably won't agree and that's fine this is just where my brain is at with it um I just think that you know my son is only four and he really likes this little girl at school and everybody's already like oh 
that's his girlfriend. No, it's not his girlfriend. You know, and when they're that little, it's like, yeah, this is a girl that's a friend. This is a guy that's a friend. Sure, it's my girlfriend or it's my boyfriend. They don't understand what that actually means. And I think that we should focus on teaching kids at a young age that it's acceptable to have guy friends and girlfriends of the opposite sex without there being that extra add-on of it being a relationship. Like we need to learn to just enjoy people and enjoy interaction and appreciate human beings for who they are and what they bring to this world instead of immediately putting it on the table of do I like them? Are they dateable? If they're not dateable, let's just cut them out right now. And I, I had an interaction with a young man who was much younger than me. Um, and he started talking to me. I met him when I was out with my friend Ashley and he started talking to me. And I was polite. I'm polite to everybody. I'm not flirting with you. I, you're a human being. I'm going to respect you and I'm going to be polite and I'm going to figure out what you're about. It's called kindness. You know, um, so he started, he found, um, him and his friend found me and Ashley on Facebook and they added us and they started messaging both of us and I was very polite with him and every, he was asking me about my modeling and I was, you know, answering his questions and it got to the point where he wanted to go out on a date and I told him, you know, that's not something I'm interested in and he said, well, why are you talking to me? I mean, because you you were talking to me, and I was, I thought we had like a conversation, like people have conversations that aren't necessarily because you want to date them or or go out with them or sleep with them or whatever. Like, what do you mean? Why am I talking to you if I don't want to date you? He's like, so you have no interest in dating me, but you're talking to me. Well, yeah, I mean, I thought, I mean, isn't that how friendships start? Am I wrong? I mean, it was homeschooled. Is that not how friendships start? Do you not interact with people and talk to them and conversate with them and get to know them as people? And that's kind of how you build a connection of friendship. Now it's immediately, let's just date. I don't want to. I don't want to. I'm busy. I have to wash my hair. Mm -hmm. There's too much going on, you know, to focus on, and until you find somebody that's really, really eye-catching, I just want to enjoy life, and I want to enjoy human interaction. That's something that I wasn't allowed to do, and that wasn't something I was allowed to do in my past relationship that I recently got out of, so I'm enjoying getting to know people and feeding off their energy and talking to them and you know just making human interaction so that w that really caught me off guard and when he found out that I didn't want to date him I haven't heard from him since and that's cool that's cool if you were only talking to me because you wanted me for dating material and I wasn't on the same you know playing field as that and so you were like Meh. okay moving on I'm okay with that cool go on into the sunset by yourself um <laughs> I don't do good with flirting and dating it makes me uncomfortable it makes me feel awkward I'm really just a, a dork fish so that kind of stuff makes me uncomfortable so um yeah that's my that's my thoughts on that I didn't even know that that's what I was gonna talk about but that's my thoughts on that and um, that's in no way a slam against young people who are in relationships and dating because a lot of young kids meet their husbands or wives in elementary school and they're together all through junior high and high school and, you know, till the very end and that's great. But I think that a lot of our youth um, and even young adults, you know, even people my age, I'm almost 26, but even people my age, I think, focus so much on finding they always have to have a boyfriend, they always have to have a girlfriend, they don't want to be alone and I think that when you focus on it to the extent that people focus on it I think that you get yourself in more unhealthy relationships because you're constantly just trying to substitute that loneliness with another human being instead of finding 
that comfort and that that safety and that security in yourself you know you have to find it in yourself and that's what my grandma told me she said you cannot be with anybody until you love yourself completely you're you're confident in yourself you're secure in yourself she says once you once you're secure in who you are as a person and you can be alone and you're okay with being alone because you're just enjoying life and you're enjoying what's out there and you're enjoying possibilities and um, stuff like that then then your heart is really open and your mind is really open to receiving that other human being that's gonna gonna be that counteract in, in your life and take over all of that and if you can find somebody who their first thought is are you happy you know do you have everything you need you come first they come second and then you yourself have the exact same feeling then the other person is always going to be taken care of and I think that's really really important to find so um, if you can't if you can't be alone fill your life with people who love you friends and family and it doesn't always have to be a relationship because I know a lot of you message me about being in heart broken situations because you're in relationship after relationship and it just never works out sometimes sometimes you just have to say it's time for me it's time for me sometimes you just have to step away from including um, another person in your life romantically and just focus on yourself and focus on um, being comfortable in who you are and living life and enjoying other people's company and laughing and going out and having experiences without the constant strain that being in a relationship can cause you so um, and I know because I left one recently that was like that sometimes you just have to embrace who you are because the opposite party doesn't want to embrace who you are um, but those are my thoughts. I'm sorry if I was kind of scatterbrained. I had no clue that that's the road I was going to take. So sorry. But, um, it's really gloomy out. I have some important business to take care of. I have to go by the studio and sign some posters and some prints to ship off to their new homes. And I have to go to the post office to ship off something. Um... To my reverend I, I have something I need to send to my reverend so I have to get that taken care of and then who knows who knows where my day will take me so remember you are in control of the days that fill your week make them amazing fill them with people who love you for who you are whether you're together or not sometimes having a best friend in your life for a while can totally be better than having you know, a significant other if they don't understand you. So just be you. Live, love, laugh, and be happy. That's what I'm going to do. So I am off. And until next Monday, I love y'all. Pass on the love to somebody else.